This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is Chrysler's attempt to seek forgiveness from people who want a nice mid-sized sedan and were not happy with what had been offered. The 200, which made a highly touted debut via television advertising as imported from Detroit, is a much needed replacement for the Sebring platform, which had not won many fans toward the end of its life cycle. If the exterior looks familiar, it's because the lines have been adapted from the larger 300 sedan and morphed to share a faint resemblance to the Dodge Avenger, which is built on the same platform. There is detail on this skin, with high-end lighting features, subtle use of chrome accents, and body panels that fit together better than what we have come to expect from Chrysler. That approach carries over to the interior, where fit and finish show a major improvement over the car it replaced. However, the center stack remains with the established company line, even in this version that comes with the navigation system. Ironically, the test model was missing a backup camera, which seems to be a given in this segment. The 200 comes with base 17-inch wheels, and the upgrade is to 18-inch rims. Thankfully, it has four-wheel disc brakes with vented rotors on the front wheels. Mechanically, the power plants are the 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder plant with variable valve timing. It is rated at 173 horsepower and 166 foot-pounds of torque. It could be matched to either a 4-speed or 6-speed automatic transmission. We strongly urge you to go with a 6-speed and avoid a feeling of pushing the small engine too hard. There is also a 3.6-liter V6 motor that offers 283 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque, only available with the 6-speed gearbox. Fuel economies for both engines are pretty close. The test vehicle, which is set up to accept E85 fuel, which also means that the tank is about two gallons larger than what is offered on the regular gasoline version. So after a week of driving, we were pretty satisfied with the performance and fuel economy. We also noticed that handling in curves and turns is a major improvement, but is not quite up to where import competitors are, at least not yet. What Chrysler has done well is to make passengers comfortable. The roof line extends far enough back on the sedan that an adult can get into the rear seat area without becoming a contortionist and have adequate headroom. At least for now, the 200 is a big improvement in the ultra-competitive mid-size segment for Chrysler. However, it will need constant improvements before it will be considered a true rival to the entry luxury market where others have been dominant for many, many years. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com